Hello and welcome along and welcome back to Hope Laurent. It is, uh, well, it's Christmas Eve here. It is November on the map and we need to get some uh, fertilizer down. That's what's uh, needed to do today. So that's why we come down to the shop. We are going to go and grab ourselves a spreader. Uh, now, I had a look in the used vehicle sales hoping that we might have something in here, but no, it's... It's a nice big fence for 126,000. If we were starting, that would be amazing. But we're not. And so we're back over this way. And we need to get ourselves a fertilizer spreader. Now, there's several options here. But I think our best option, looking at the prices of all this, is going to be this Amazon. Now, this is a mod available on the Mod Hub. I think we can... Yeah, we can't expand its size. Uh, but this will do, uh, as well as doing the fertilizing we want to do now, this will also spread lime for when we need it. Uh, now, we're going to have to borrow some money to get this. I want to buy this because it's going to be more useful to us to have uh, this as a purchased item. We've got, they've got several different types, which I'm not sure what difference they make. So we'll leave that as standard. And yeah, we will put the cover on. That's going to cost us 22450 So let's head back out. And in here, we want to get a little bit more money. We're, we're fine there at the moment. We've not got a massive loan at the moment. Uh, we're going to have to go up to 26000 with it, though. So let's come back here. Because we need... To get where did my spreaders go there we go fertilizer spreaders uh we need to get quite a bit on here um today we're gonna we're gonna have to get a, at least a pallet of fertilizer on here so uh michelin tires standard uh yes to the cover because we might have to store this outside and buy that yes okay because we're going to have to put two levels of fertilizer on these fields. Uh, hopefully we can do it without causing too much trouble. Otherwise, we're going to be creating some tram lines. Uh, we also need to get some fertilizer. So uh, back into here. And because we haven't got... Yeah, we haven't got our front loader with us. So we're going to have to get a pallet. A little more realism. Uh, here we go. Some solid fertilizer. 750 liters. I think this is fairly expensive. Uh, let's have a look in here. Compared to... Yeah. Actually, it's not. It's not that much more expensive compared to the other options. Um, in fact, it may even be the cheaper of the options. So uh, let's grab... We can grab a couple of pallets of this. So, buy, yes, okay, yes, okay, right, there we go. And then we can get this all filled up. Now, we can get care wheels on this tractor, of course. We can't get care wheels on this spreader. Uh, it is one downside to getting this. So, we'll have to see what happens. At the moment, we're okay for our crops. We shouldn't have too much of an issue. Right, and refill. And that is taking those seed bags in. Uh, those fertilized bags in. Will it take the second? Yes, it will. There we go. All done. Let's come out and have a quick look at this. So, yeah, we're 24% full. Uh, I'm hoping that this is going to be enough to do these. Uh, we shall see as we go. We're coming back up to the farm now. I put the entrance in a slightly awkward place. So we tend to go all the way around. And then in the other side. I put it where I did because it's it's a good place for us to access uh, both of our fields from. But it is a little bit of a, a way round uh, whenever we come back from the shop. Right, we're going to use this on here and see how far we go. Looking very nice and lush and green, our uh, crop is at the moment. Now, that seems very small. I don't know how far this crop is or this uh, fertilizer is going to go. It's not going down very quickly, thankfully. 
but we're we're gonna have to keep an eye on this it's also not quite so easy to see exactly where we've been compared to where we are so uh, i'm gonna have to keep an eye on that as well but this does seem to be uh spreading fairly nicely and yeah it is not going down very fast so this should work now as the sun gets higher and the lighting improves it is getting easier to see where we've been before pull this up and over and when we get into the sunlight you can see i don't know if you can see it on here or on the video but yeah there's a line which is roughly where the edge of our uh, spreader is at the moment uh, that's that's darker in fact it's yeah it's not easy to see on here at all there we go but it is uh, it is actually working and we are getting a good spread on here also i've got some markings that work well for me as tram lines as well give me a good indication of where i am and where i'm going so yeah i've actually got the start of that in the wrong place i'm gonna be a little further over picking it out is uh is oh wow uh picking it out is uh it's a lot of fun he's trying to get it to uh to work out exactly where you should be all right the edge is roughly where the edge of the field is actually it's good so yeah we want to be about here going down and again want to get ourselves at the 270 on our compass and hopefully that is spreading well yeah and you can see we've not really missed much so far we've got some extra stuff at the sides anyway um but yeah we've even got a little bit of overlap at the moment which i want to kind of try and avoid uh, if we can get this whole field done with just these pallets of fertilizer that would be good um because yeah at the moment it's um we don't really have the money unless we go and borrow some more this kind of job is uh, when it's really really useful to have gps it's so difficult for me to tell at the moment exactly where i am on the field and uh how well covered uh, everything i've done so far is there are a couple of patches we've, we've got good coverage for the most part i have had to go back and redo one bit where i was just massively out but in general uh we've got a fairly good coverage over the field let's put that on and then i can put it here so you can see there's a couple of little patches i've missed in a couple of places and where i've had to go back round and sort stuff in general though uh we've got pretty good coverage over this field with this uh, it's just very hard to see on the ground exactly where we've been and where we haven't i'm gonna have to go round and do the headlands as well um because although i have been spreading on the headlands when you switch it round it does tend to uh not fully uh, get all of those spaces I'm looking forward to precision farming where this kind of thing uh, turns on and off and uh, and we get exactly the coverage we need because, yeah, at the moment, it's actually, I'm not, it's not too bad. We've got a strip there, we've got a tiny patch there and we've got a bit up that top corner. That is not a huge problem um, anyway. And I think I now have a little bit on this side. Uh, but yeah, we can go up and get that strip and uh and then get the rest of this uh but yeah i'm pretty happy with this and with field 20 all done now we turn our attention here to uh field 17 now this we've only got eight percent of the uh of the fertilizer left so i'm hoping we're gonna have enough to get this field done we're going to have to be a little bit more cautious with the overlap, I think. But we should be able to get it done. I'm going to go round and do the headland at this time. Uh, give ourselves a better coverage at the start. And then once that's done, what I'll be able to do is 
go in and hopefully not have too much of an overlap on the actual field itself. Still really, really difficult to see where I've been and uh, and where I need to go. But we, we're getting... We, we got a good coverage on the other field. The, the trouble is that this will end up causing us to have uh an overuse of fertilizer which is something i very much want to avoid when i've got a limited amount of fertilizer available to me and if i can get this field covered then uh that's going to be a good use of the money uh we're down to six percent we're, we're doing okay i uh yeah i could really do with this going as far as it can I think I've just about got it. It is oh, nerve-wracking and uh, worrisome, but either this row or a very little bit on the next row should complete this. Let's bring that and have a look. Yeah, we've got a very little bit on the next row. Um, most of our field is looking pretty good. We've got no weeds anywhere, which again is uh, is great. But that's because we ploughed... Well, we ploughed um, all of this field. And we did the... And we weeded the other one. So that is all good. We've got a little bit of lime missing on a couple of these. But otherwise, yeah. I'm very happy with that. That has gone uh, surprisingly well. Uh, now, we are going to have a problem later on where we can't actually spread solid fertiliser with this because it is not got any care wheels available on it. Uh, but we do at least have our first stage of fertilizer done. We might have to hire a sprayer or something uh, to do that next stage. There we go. Do we? I don't think we even own a plow or a, or a cultivator, actually thinking about it. We might need to buy a cultivator and a weeder going into the next year but that is all good I want to disconnect this then there's a fairly quick job to get done first today but we it was a job that we needed to do the other job we need to do today is get our uh, strawberries sold we actually have a couple of pallets of strawberries ready so let's drop off that doesn't lower things very far, that. And then we're going to put our front loader back on here. And get these loaded into the back of our truck. Right. There. Put that on. And lift it up. There we go. Right, so... first one i need a really close set of tines for as we're going to come into this sideways oh we have our first thing of tomatoes as well that's fantastic we're going to sell the strawberries first though if we can get under the pallet and the reason why i'm coming at these sideways is because we've got to fit it between the wheels in our truck Bring this out here and we will put the tailgate down. Now these are going to be slightly heavier than the ones were before. I just want to get them on here slightly straighter if I can. There we go. Yeah, this is where things have got a little bit more interesting since the update. We now have the pallets uh, needing to have uh, the front loader to load them into the trailer or into the uh, truck. Come on, off you come. Also getting stuck on my tines. Alright, let's try this again. 
This is the try. This is the trouble with the narrow setup. This is where we might need to get one of those refrigeration trailers. Come straight onto that. We need to come straight onto the back of the truck. And hopefully get this between these wheels. Back there, like that. Right, okay. Now come out. There we go. Oh, put the back of the truck. No, we're good. Back it off. Now, can we push this on? Because we need to. Yes. So they've given the uh, the pallets. Um, they're a little bit more solid now, which is great. Uh, makes a massive difference to us. Right, then we open these up. get this hopefully on the back uh, in and we can take about two pallets at a time which is why I'm trying to do the strawberries first uh, any more than that and uh, and well I've had it in the past where they have tipped over uh, where we've almost lost the truck and then had just a horrible horrible time trying to get the truck uh, back on its wheels so I'm going to keep it simple and yep yeah, that should fit in there that should fit in there nicely look at that perfect I'm happy with that now is that going to close that should close we'll lock that down and lock that down oh yep yeah, we can get one more on like so close that up Brilliant. Uh, where are we going to go and sell strawberries? Best place to sell strawberries right now is going to be at uh, the farm shop. So, uh, yeah, the same place as we end up so many other times. We'll head over to the farm shop and get these sold. But, yeah, not a huge amount to do on the farm today. Mainly just trying to get our fields ready for winter. And our chickens are doing fine. We've not got a lot of stuff on our chickens either. They're, they're doing well. It's, uh, yeah, we've, we've actually got nicely ahead. And there isn't, there isn't a huge amount to do. Uh, we need to get some more fertilizer on our fields, of course. Um, but that will probably come in the springtime. Uh, until then, we may be able to get a couple of contracts and get that done. So uh, it's going to be yeah, a couple of contracting jobs and bits like that. Uh, might even skip the winter because we don't have uh, much to do on our farm over the winter at all. All of our fields are prepared and uh, are seeded and everything. Uh, as I said, there might be a couple of contract jobs. Um, if they're interesting ones, I think it's going to be worth doing. Otherwise, uh, well, we're going to need to do a couple of contract jobs just to fend off the cost of the loan and any leased equipment. Strawberry's not accepted. Um, and we're also going to have to sell a couple of these. But in we come. Selling off the strawberries. And the strawberries should sell for more now because the pallets are much bigger than they were prior to the patch and yeah there we go two pallets 443 not quite as much bigger as i thought it was going to be i was expecting a little bit more than that but that has got those sold so uh we're looking well for there what have we got in here yeah, we've got just got the pallet of, uh, of tomatoes. Here's the other thing. We're going to have to build a house here at some point. Let's get our tractor back in the shed. And uh, yeah, need to work out what I'm going to be doing over the winter. Because at the moment, we don't have a huge amount of work to do. We've got... We, we've not got... I'm really surprised. We've got a water trailer... And we got a spreader now. Um, we don't have anything else. We spent. I think we spent a lot of our money 
initial money on getting the land. Uh, this is... What condition is this in? Oh, we can see. Water, 3,600 litres, so we're fine for that. Uh, we have a full pallet of tomatoes. And our chickens... Our chickens are producing some eggs. We've got a while to go, but uh, yeah, they're good. Uh, they've got feed as well, and we've got feed for them actually in the shed as well. So uh, chickens are looking good, and we're all set. Then we might, over the winter, see if we can do a little bit more yard construction, because... I like our yard here, but uh, I think we can go a little bit further with this. Uh, might have to, again, borrow some money to do that. Because at the moment, we don't have any. Um, and we don't have any quick sources of income at all. Uh, that's all there is to do on the farm today. So a bit of a short one. Uh, I will have a think, see what we're going to do. Uh, we might push forward a little bit uh, and, uh, and get towards some other stuff we might see if we can get hold of a contract but now though i'm gonna leave this here so all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed this video please give it a like drop us a comment and give it a share and for all the latest videos from virtual farmer please subscribe to the channel ring that bell and i will see you next time goodbye